Welcome back to the next part in our Rick and Morty app series. In the last part, we set up the API service caching layer. And in this part, we're gonna start building out the episode uh, tab. For one, we need to build it out. And for second, I'm kind of tired of working in this tab. So without further ado, drop a like down below, say hello in the comments and let's dig right in. So what I mentioned briefly towards the end of the last video is I'm gonna to try to reuse this cell. My plan is to use a table view for locations here and just reuse um, this existing collection view cell that we've created for episodes. So let's go ahead and see how much of this we can get away with copy and pasting. So we had already created a character, uh, rather a, let's see, we have character list view, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in here. We have a character list view and then a character uh, list collection view cell. So we're gonna want a episode list view very, very similar to this. So I'm gonna literally cheat and copy every single thing inside of here. And instead of writing this up again, we're gonna go and edit it. So let's create a new folder and we are gonna stay organized. That's the last thing I do. Um, let's create an episode folder and I'm gonna create a new file in here. It's gonna be a Swift file. We're gonna call it a RM uh, episode list view like so alrighty and now in here let's just actually paste this and we're going to see what we need and what we can get rid of so first and foremost we are gonna want to rename like 55% if not 95% of stuff in here so let's start doing that let's start at the class so this is going to be a RM episode list view this is a view that handles a showing a list of episodes, the loader, et cetera, which makes sense. It looks like we created a protocol here to notify that we selected a character. We're gonna wanna use this, but for the episode. So did it select uh, episode? Let's go ahead and make this a RM episode. And this should also be the respective view, the RM episode list view. And let's go ahead and change this to episode this one here to episode as well. And I'm purposely doing it manually instead of a find and replace so we can make sure that everything in here is actually what we need and not anything more. And let's take a look at what else we need to do in here. So it looks like we have our view model in here already. Um, now we don't have that at the moment. So for our episode tab, let's see what we actually have in there because frankly, I don't remember. So our episode tab here is actually empty, so that's actually perfect. We can jump into this character tab, and let's see if I can steal like everything inside of here. And one thing that I really like that we did already is we made our view controllers super duper tiny. Um, no worries here about massive view controllers, which is awesome. So cool, so we're gonna change this character list view to a episode list view we're going to have to change the type here as well so let's go ahead and do that the episode list view like so we want this to be episodes we have a setup view function and we want to rename all of this since we changed it and let's see we want to add our sub view let's batch rename all of this stuff here and let's see we also want to conform to the rm episode uh, delegate that we have now since we did in fact rename it which is what we are getting an error about on this line here and let's continue down let's see what's going on so here we want to redeclare this function because it did change we're going to say rm episode and we'll paste in the contents alrighty I'm going to change this here and let's actually comment out everything inside of here so we do want to open a detail controller um, and actually, we don't actually need to comment it out. So let's actually write it out because it's actually pretty simple. So we're gonna say episode. What we wanna do is get the view model for this. We're gonna want to create a RM episode uh, detail view model. And we, we already have this. And if I'm not mistaken, this gets created with a uh, endpoint URL. So we can go ahead and get the endpoint URL by saying episode.url, which is a string, and we can URLify it by just passing it in like so. We wanna go ahead and open up the appropriate controller. So this will be the episode detail controller, and then we can push it. So we should see these errors go away, hopefully. Looks like we are not seeing them go away, and let's see why that is. So it looks like this gets created with, uh, this gets created with the URL. So let's see, this is the optional URL. So let me actually go ahead and pass this in directly here. 
and now we should be in good shape. Let's do a command B. We're gonna have no errors here, but we will have several errors in our view. So let's jump back there. That's the uh, RM episode list view. And let's adjust things in here. So no issues with this yet. We do have a view model here. We're gonna wanna change this to be a RM episode list view model. And this is gonna super yell at me because well, let's actually leave that for the time being because we'll need to copy and paste that as well. But let's actually fix up the stuff in here. So here we're going to add this extension to the new view that we've renamed a million times. Alrighty, and this is going to be RM episode list view view model delegate. And that doesn't actually exist yet. So let's go ahead and create that as well. And let's see how we're doing on time. We could probably fumble our way through this in this video. So let's actually make an attempt to do that. So we have our uh, list view model here and it's actually rather long. So let's see if I can get away with copy and pasting and just bulk renaming everything. So I'm gonna create a new file here and this is going to be a, a Swift file. We're gonna do rm episode list view view model and let's go ahead and paste it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename everything that's RM character in here. And we're gonna rename it to RM uh, episode. And one thing that's important is we do want to make sure this is uh, case uh, sensitive. So we're going to go ahead and say, I could have swear there was a way to do that. So we want this to be a case sensitive. I think we can click this if this is the appropriate thing. Let's hover over and see. Yep, this is for case matching if I read that correctly. Yep, case sensitive. So we're going to replace this, which is a capital version of it, with this capital version of it. So let's go ahead and replace all. And let's actually read through this and make sure it's all correct. So did load initial characters will now change to did load initial episodes. Uh, did load more characters is going to change to did load more episodes. And I don't know why I keep naming this super incorrectly. Did select character will change to did select episode, passing in the appropriate episode, which we already got with the find and replace. This is going to be a view model for the episode list view logic. Beautiful. Let's see what else is a problem in here. So we have the view model delegate. Here we have our characters, which is going to be episodes, RM episode. This is going to be for episode in episodes. We are going to want to create a collection view cell view model here, but for now I'm just gonna leave this as is. Let's comment out everything we can get away with commenting out to compile. And here we're going to have a collection of strings. Well, I guess we can create this. We will eventually need it here. We just don't have it yet. Because we're going to be reusing the same episode uh, cell that we have down here, we want to use that view model in here. So the way that we're going to do that is by just leveraging the view model right here. And this view model is called a character episode collection view cell view model. Super long name, but hopefully that makes sense. So let's jump back here and just change this type. Alrighty. And we have a API info. So this isn't quite correct. We are actually not going to, actually we might need this. I don't actually know what the list episode API response gives us. So let me actually go and take a look. So if we go to get all, uh, this is get all characters. We want get all episodes. It looks like we actually do have count pages next and previous, and the results is slightly different. So uh, this is going to be a new model that we need, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it in a moment. Let's see what else we can fix here before uh, before uh, you know we can actually build. So um, let's go ahead and compile and let's fix all the errors one by one. And actually, since we've gotten so far into the weeds of this, I'll probably stop the video here. We did a lot of copy and pasting from the character list stuff since it's basically identical. And the next part, I'm gonna actually focus on cleaning up this view model and creating the object since I feel like this video has gotten a little confusing already. So drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you in the next part where we clean this up and hopefully get it compiling. So I'll see you guys there.